I turned 30 last November and I just want to share with you guys kind of like an epiphany that I had. I don't know why it took so long um, to have this epiphany, but I did and I'm happy. So basically, I was just tired of feeling like I'm missing out on stuff. Like all my friends would go out. Um, I would be with them, obviously, but, you know, they'd invite me out. There'd be like a party every Wednesday, like, you know, every Friday, every Saturday. There's always something going on. Friends are DJing and there's just so many events. Like it's Los Angeles, so... There's always something to do. So constantly, you know, being asked to go places. And of course I'm going to go because it's probably fun. Who doesn't want to drink? And yeah, whatever. So I would go. But somewhere, you know, within all these going outs and stuff, like something switched and it just didn't, like it wasn't fun anymore. Like I would find myself at these events just like waiting, like, you know, anticipating going home, like figuring out how I'm going to make my exit. Like, you know, just kind of, like feeling even anxious it's like why am i here like i started asking myself like why am i out like every wednesday and like friday like why am i holding a 20 dollar drink right now why am i why what is what is this what is this reason so i just decided like don't go how about how about just don't go you're not missing out on anything you have these feelings every single time you go out like why not just save yourself and maybe the people that you're rubbing off this negativity to, like, save the night and just stay home because it's honestly going to be so much better for you. You can think and, you know, just do something else and be something more productive. And you can socialize with these people outside of a bar setting. Like, there are other things you can do with your friends. And if you can't think of something, then I don't know if you guys are friends then. But, yeah, don't let the fear of missing out stop you from... I'm sitting your ass at home because you're not missing out on shit. Okay, mm-hmm. that's the end of that clip, right? So now her biological clock is approaching. Yep. And her options are not as much as it once was. Yeah. Now she's getting the um, epiphany stage. <laughs> yeah. And it's like... Oh, now she wants to cash out. Nature has forced her to fix up. That's what's happened here. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now she's trying to sell you the dream I of know. FOMO, fear of missing out. Mm-hmm. It's not no fear of missing out. Clubbing all that stuff is not what it's meant to be. It's not like all it's scrubbed up to be, no. blah, blah, blah. Okay, some, don't people, say. some people have the fear of missing out, yes. But for her, I don't think it's that at all. I think exactly what you said. I think <laughs> she now realized that she's getting closer to that fateful wall. Um, She realized that she isn't being fulfilled in what she's currently doing so she's seeing it as in um let me just stay home and whatever else and it she's not realizing that it's her yearning do you you think okay we know women have a yearning at a certain point in their life just i want to be a mother exactly i want to be you know taken seriously Mm -hmm. i want a family Mm -hmm. women have been sold a dream you can have that. You can put that, all that stuff off late, until later. Mm-hmm. Do you think because she's not getting the same attention mm. that she was getting 21-year-old her, mm-hmm. yesterday's price is not today's price. Yeah. Do you think the lack of attention mm-hmm. is suddenly making her wake up? Or what do you think? What's yeah, your thoughts on, would, as, as a female? I think it is that I think she's not getting the same attention she once was. And um, so it's like, what's the point of going out? Like, I'm not really getting that so attention think, anymore. So do you think if she still was getting attention? She'll still be out there. Okay. So because continue. how are you talking about Wednesday and Friday? Wednesday? What? I don't know about that. A Wednesday? Each, each to their own. Each to their own. Obviously, everyone's work schedule, whatever is different. I get it. Yeah. But <clears throat> during the week? <laughs> Clubbing during the week? Okay. But anyway, yeah, I think she is just going through that thing of yearning to have children settle down, yeah. being focused on settling down, finding a partner and stuff like that. You know, all them hot girl summers hasn't planned out the way she thought it was going to. Yeah. So it's like, okay, cool. Let me allow that now. I'm yeah. 30. She needs to start getting that ish together. Maybe <laughs> maybe family is whispering in her ear and like, saying, where's your man? How come you not married or how come you got yeah. kids and there's other family members that are younger, got the thing right? I don't know. Mm. Look at um, Tracy Ellis Ross and look at um, Lala Anthony. Mm-hmm. And we've done um, stories on, on them before as well, right? 
And particularly, let's go to Tracy Ellis Ross. She's just turned 50 something, right? And she's saying kind of the same thing at 50. She's saying, basically, I've got the money. I've got the career. Mm -hmm. She's a nice looking woman for her age, right? And she's saying something is missing mm. and she can't rewind back time. Nope. So I've never had the chance to be a mother. Mm -hmm. But she sold you a dream. And I believe it was less than a year ago. She yep. was saying she's happy to be by herself. Yeah. She has dinner by herself, dresses up, does her thing, right? And and each to their own. If that's what makes her happy, it does it's all good. But happy. she tried to sell us a dream mm -hmm. when male spaces show women what happens later on down the line. Mm. Women's spaces, women keep women single, women's spaces sell you the um, they pander to you mm. and they tell you it's all good just like she was in the show girlfriends yeah so like yeah. girlfriends were like um golden sex girls in the city. sex in the city yeah it was like golden golden uh, golden girls came first yeah so then golden girls are now with golden retrievers so they got their dogs <laughs> come on now dog come on man <laughs> so golden girls got golden retrievers right mm -hmm. <laughs> now they got their dogs and their pets and their cats so they cat women right mm -hmm. so then Sex in the City comes along. Mm -hmm. And what's the one, you, what's the, what you just meant, what's the name? Girlfriends. So Girlfriends, what she was in. Uh -huh. Now she's living, that was a... Um, I think they were shot uh, at similar times, actually. I think they were supposed to have... Nah, Golden Girls the, is all the thing. Not Golden Girls, Sex in the City yeah. and Girlfriends. I think mm. they were supposed to have that title as Sex in the City, but I don't know. There was something but in now, regards to that. She's actually living out that reality. Exactly. So then she you chose speaks, your career first. She's spoken a couple of weeks ago, maybe, mm. maybe a month ago, saying something is missing. Mm. And you're now finding that a lot of women, younger women, um, millennials today are saying, oh, I want to settle down. I want a man. They've been ran through. They're having trouble peer bonding with men. Mm. They don't know how to get out. They're stuck literally what's what's um some of your thoughts on that what would you maybe suggest i think that, first of all i say this i think the older women should tell you lot the truth yeah i know because women rather they, they, their pride and their ego kept intact mm -hmm. but i think they should tell you lot the truth and say listen if you plan to have a career and a job the trade-off is you're going to be lonely it's going to be harder as you get older mm -hmm. to find someone long term treating you serious and also geriatric pregnancy so having children if you put that off late then it's going to be a problem this is mm -hmm. adult conversation it is so yeah she decided mm. to put her career first which is what a lot of women like to do she mm. is of an era of when feminism was hard mm. in there so she's clearly gone along with that yeah put her career first <laughs> held off on children and marriage and stuff and this is where she's ended up and this is where a lot of women have ended up so she's got her she's got the money she's got her career mm -hmm. phds whatever you, what whatever happens? it is you want what happens? but then mm. at the end of it all what do you really have okay. left you have lala and empty right? home you do have empty home and they want it to be filmed when they're filled with um grandkids and their family mm -hmm. you know when they're talking about your when it's all said and done mm -hmm. no one ain't talking about those women's careers and jobs they're talking about oh look at this room filled with all these people that come from you if you think about it also mm. who how i see it, yes you have family yeah when whoever lives in your house is your family they're your main family yeah. whoever lives outside of your household is your extended, um, extended family mm. so when what i don't get with a lot of women who choose this road to go down is when you get to a certain age and you're by yourself you are your own family you're by yourself i you're know but the thing is is that they don't understand that and i i say look the women that come before you should at least tell you this is what it is mm -hmm. some women that are elder are happy in that situation but i think most are not no and then you look at lala anthony for example she's saying that she um has younger men dating her that's definitely a sign that you've hit the wall because mm. women want older men and when younger guys are dating you men want younger women yeah so then they don't know older woman and there's not, i'm not saying right there's something wrong with you because you're older i'm saying i'm not talking about your your value as a human being no. i'm saying as far as your value Market as as um, relationships right mm -hmm. 
men are not taking you seriously as you get older or not in, in, in large amounts anyway. Mm -hmm. But then you see women saying, older women saying, oh, this young, they're 50. And they say this, this um, 20 year old or the 25 year old mm -hmm. is hollering or lots of these 30 year olds are hollering at me. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it serious. Let's keep it real, man. Stella don't get her groove back. Stop it. No. Because they're talking about, oh, Stella's got her groove back. These guys want to come off you. What women like to say nowadays is 20 is the new, 40 is the new 20. Mm -hmm. And it's not 20 is 20, 40 is 40. If someone come up, Stop okay, if lying. someone owes you 40 pounds and they said to you, here's 20 pounds because the new 20 is 40, then you're going to say, yeah. you're about 20, you're about you're, 20 pound light. Exactly. <laughs> like, keep 100. <laughs> Just stop here. <laughs> it's the truth. And I listen, and I, and I, and I um, read off some of this, this um, in this video, this chick's, um, some of the comments, right? And I saw so many women gassing in the comments section. Mm. You're a hot girl, you're this and you're that. And no one's disputing your beauty. But well, then you've lived a certain way so long, you think your beauty is going to carry you only through the door. Are you raised to be a wife? You, you've accumulated so much BS and so much trauma over dating the Pookies and Ray Rays. Mm. You're going to bring that to these guys. And there's that 21 year old you. Yeah. With, 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 with none of the crap. And you realize that you can't keep relationships. You always have short term relationships, never long term relationships. So a lot yes. of people nowadays think six months or a year is long term relationship. Since <laughs> that's what? true, you don't you don't get them, them even. Mm. Let me even say ten year relationships. Ten years, you don't get that anymore. You you'll be lucky to have two two yeah. years. Yeah, and they because, consider because, that as a long term. No, every, it's not because people are coming to relationships with different perspectives. You have women that have unrealistic expectations. They build all these unsavory patterns mm. from. Um, or bonding with men being ran through and then suddenly oh now she wants to cash out which that's what we're hearing but anyways that's our thoughts on it yep <laughs> i ain't got nothing more to add on that but in that being said don't forget to hit the like button yep definitely to, um subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace peace